Hello friends, welcome to GK Rabbit. Welcome to our series on Kokumba. So in our last session, we saw that how to create a feature file. And now we are going to see that uh, how to create the step definition file and the test runner file. So for creating the step definition file, so before that, let us see that how to create a test runner file. And uh, I will take you uh, tell you the advantage uh, that why we are defining the test runner file before than the step definition file. So in this lecture, let us concentrate that uh, how to create a test runner file. So we already have a runner package in here. So what we will do is we'll just go in and we'll create a new class in it with the name as test runner. So this test runner class will help us to run our Kumbal test. So we'll write in given the name as test runner. So let's give it a name as test runner dot java. So it will be a dot java file and just click on finish. And in this way, your test runner java file will be uh, displayed in here. So it will be created and uh, you can write the code. So now before actually starting with the actual Cucumber run, we will have to write some code in the test runner file that will identify which feature file to pick and which step definition to execute so for that uh, we'll write some code so start off with writing uh, run with cucumber so let's write it and then we will uh, see what why we are writing this so we will be running this with the cucumber class so just you have to mention in here dot cucumber dot class okay so once this is done, so it will automatically pull in uh, the libraries and then in the next line, you will have to specify the different Cucumber options. So in general, Cucumber will come with different options. So before that, just, uh, okay, so this Cucumber we should remove. It is just run with and a Cucumber, Cucumber class, okay. Cucumber. Yeah, and now we have to just specify in the option. So first of all, just yeah, import the run with. Uh, it comes in the JUnit libraries and just import it. Yeah, so now you are ready. So in here, just specify the different at the rate cucumber options. So this tag will allow you to specify the different cucumber options, and just specify the option in this particular round brackets okay so in here you can specify the different cucumber options so also import this one and now uh, first of all we will be writing feature so in here we will have to give the location of the feature file so in here we are having this feature file and if you click right click on properties and this is the location of our feature file so we just we should just copy this Control c and just give in here in double quotes so just so now after reading uh, giving this parameter cucumber will know that where to pick the feature file from so this one is the one so next one is option is glue so just give a comma and write in glue so in here just specify step definitions so we will have to specify the folder name so we will give step definition and not step definitions because we have given the name as step definition and it will allow us allow cucumber to know that where to pick the step definition file from now after it just click on comma and uh, so you will be needing the output in some specified format so for that use the format option in this you can specify so i need the output in pretty format so i'm specifying it is pretty and i need the output in a format uh, so it can be in HTML, XM, uh, XML, or it can be an extent report also. But for now, we will be 
making it as HTML and we will specify the folder name where it should be saved so we will save it in test output folder that will be generated uh, once we run the script so once that is done just close this and there is one more parameter that will help us so there is some option in cucumber called as dry run and it hold value it will have a boolean value true and false so now why to give boolean values uh, so right now if we give it as false and uh, just leave it as uh, so when we will uh, keep dry run is equal to true and if we run this file by saving then automatically what will happen we can see while we are designing the step definition file so let's keep in mind the dry run option and we can see what happens when we change the value for dry run so right now as i see we have specified four options in here one is the feature which will allow cucumber to know where the feature file is and from where it needs to be picked and then glue will tell the cucumber to pick the step definition file so this is the folder location then we have specified format so if we need output any specified format then we will just so right now I've written here HTML, we can specify as XML also. So that depend or JSON. So that depend upon in which format we need the output. For now I'm keeping it as HTML. And dry run we will be seeing in the next uh, lecture when we'll be actually defining the step definition. Yeah, so for now we have created a feature file and we have also created a runner file. So just save it. Yeah, and yeah, that's all for now. So in the next lecture, we will actually create the step definition file and we will also see that why we have specified the dry run option in here and what is the advantage of doing that. Yeah, so that's all for today regarding Cucumber and hope you have liked this content and do post your comment in the comment section below. So we'll bring some more uh, Cucumber related content in our next upcoming lecture. Till then, have a good day. Thank you.